Chances are, at some point, you've wanted an easy and convenient way to hold up your book, phone or tablet so you can watch a film or read a book. But don't buy a stand off the internet. Today, I'm going to show you how with some pencils and some elastic bands, you can create your very own book or phone or tablet stand. So for this, you're going to need nine pencils and 12 elastic bands. You don't have to use pencils, you could use these bamboo kebab sticks, but I use pencils because they're most probably what you've got lying around. If your pencils are all the same length, like this one, then you can skip this step for now. But if they're different sizes like these, you want to arrange them in order of height. So, tallest on the left and shortest on the right. Once you've got them arranged like this, you want to take the two tallest ones, and then two that are a similar size, and separate three that are the shortest. So you should have four piles. You want each pencil in the piles to be a similar length. So these are a similar length, these are a similar length, these are, and so are these. Once you've got them in four piles, put the three shortest ones off to the side. We won't need them for now. And you want to take one from each pile to create two piles, like this. Each of these piles will be one of the triangles that are on the end of the stand. So just put one pile aside for now, and we're going to make one triangle. So first, choose the longest one. This is going to go at the bottom of the triangle, and your phone or book will rest on this. Then, take the second longest, and place it over the top like that. And then finally, the third one will be underneath there like this. So once you've got these arranged like that, remember where they're going to go. We're going to tie the first two together now. So how you do this is you take an elastic band and you take your two pencils that cross over like this and you put your elastic band under the bottom one and then it goes over the top one and under the bottom one in a loop. So it should look like this. Keep doing that until it's tight enough and then just hook it over the end of one of the pencils. So this is going to be the front of the triangle. So now we need to attach the back. If they've got rubbers on the bottom of the pencils, make sure that they're facing downwards, which will provide extra grip. So now we're going to do the same thing for the top. Just wrap it under the bottom one and over the top and just round in circles, up and over and down and under. So it should look like this now. Don't worry, it looks like it's going to be a square, but we're just going to attach those together. We need one more elastic band and do exactly the same thing. Just hook it over the end of the pencil when you're done. So you should have a triangle that looks like this. You want this side to be the shortest one, this one to be the longest, and this one to be the next longest, the middle pencil. Then slide this back a bit so there's room to put your phone or book on. And now that is one triangle done. Now we've made one triangle, you want to face it towards you, so this is where you're going to put your phone or book, and you want this supporting beam to be on the outside. Then lie it down like this, and now we're going to make the other triangle. So take your other three pencils, and you want to make a copy of this, but with this one, 
where the pencil goes over, you want it to go underneath on the other one. You just align it. So on this triangle, this pencil is on top of both of them. So in this one, it's going to go underneath both of them. And so it will look like this. Now we're just going to do the same thing and tie them all together. There we go, that's one tied. Make sure that you're doing it right still. And just one more to attach. So there we go. We've got two triangles, and when you face them towards you, it should be symmetrical. So these two are in the middle, these two are on the outside, these are in the middle, these are on the outside. So now you've got those triangles, you want to put one on top of it, the other, and then just move them around until they're, they look similar. The most important thing is that this bottom pencil is at the same angle. Just move these down a bit. And that's pretty good. So now we're going to make the beams that go across. So now what we're going to do is take the three smallest pencils that we set aside earlier and we're going to connect these two triangles together like this. So with one triangle just find where they connect and put it between them. Then just take an elastic band and just wrap it round so that it stays on. There isn't really a method to doing this, I just wrap it around anyway. So we've got it like this now. Making sure it's aligned the right way, we're going to connect it on the other side. We've tied them together. One's much taller than the other, but we can fix that later. So now we're going to attach the back in exactly the same way as we did before. Taking one of the pencils, wrap it round, and the same on the other side. And there we go. Now we just need one more, and that's at the front. The front is different. We want it to go on top of those rather than in the middle, so that when you put your phone on it, it doesn't slide off. So you're just going to attach it the same way we made the triangles. So we've got it attached to one side, we're just going to attach it to the other. So when you've attached that, that's the last pencil we need to put on. Although looking at this, it's not straight and it's too wobbly. So you can just move some stuff around adjust it until it doesn't wobble and it's straight. One size bigger than the other for me but it doesn't wobble around when I put something on it so that's okay with me. So now you've finished and you can use it for propping up books or phones or tablets. I hope you found this helpful.